We're not obsessively hunting for toys that I can't seem to find no matter how many stores I search or how many phone calls I make. I like to talk about comic books. It's time for Picks from the Rack. All right, I got five picks for you guys this week, so let's get right to it. So beginning a new story arc is Star Wars number five. I already told you I'm excited about this book, but now we're actually seeing a little bit more backstory from the original trilogy that I love so much. Luke's taken off to Tatooine for some answers to some questions that he has. Han and Leia are off on another adventure somewhere. This is expanding on the Star Wars universe and it's back with Marvel. I mean, what more can you ask? And this is actually a good read because it has everybody's favorite bounty hunter, Boba Fett. So definitely pick up Star Wars number five, beginning of a new story arc, Perfect jumping on point for if you missed the first four issues. Okay, so with Marvel this month as well, with the regular titles, expect a lot of what if stories, especially ones like Battle World number one. Now we've seen that Doom has everything in control, but there's still a few people out there who maybe are causing problems for him. And one in particular is Frank Castle, who now has to face off against the Hulk, Wolverine, Spider-Man, and Ghost Rider as the Frightful Four. Kind of almost like a what if story where if they were the Fantastic Four. Anyway, it's a good pickup, it's solid, and it's revealing a little bit more has happened already. So go ahead and check out Battle World number one. It's, it's an okay, it also has a backstory in with MODOK. I hate MODOK, but he's in there. Another title that had a lot of controversy before it came out was A-Force number one. Now remember guys, Secret Wars is going on. Don't judge every book by its cover. Open it up and read it. See how I made that reference there? Anyway. Basically, we have She-Hulk leading a team of female heroes. Nothing wrong with that. There's a lot of good characters in here, and above all, we get to see Dazzler back in her 70s outfit. Or is it more of a downside? I don't know, you tell me. A-Force number one is a good read, and I'm waiting to see more where this goes from. So let's just relax, enjoy. Now, one of the titles coming out this month was very near and dear to my heart, because Douglas Adams, who wrote The Check This Guy to the Galaxy, also wrote Dirk Gently, Holistic Detective. I love the books, and it's kind of good to see this character that I love so much portrayed in the comics, and it gets it right. Um, I think Doug will be very happy with this book, and we're not going too much in detail. It's kind of a quick pick of mine. Go ahead and give this a pick up. Check it out. You might like it. Last pick for the week is Bloodshot number two. I've always liked this character from Valiant and glad to see him back. Well, they have our Bloodshot, who's calling himself Ray Garrison for some reason, tracking down this other man who apparently has the nanites in his blood too. And we kind of see where the storyline is going a little bit here. Um, Ray is very conflicted and actually seems to be going a little bit crazy in here. If you couldn't tell from the first issue, hearing voices and talking to people that aren't there. I'm loving how they're depicting the character, kind of like this, he's having a mental breakdown, but he gets these moments of clarity when it's time to work. Bloodshot's turning out to be a pretty good book and what Valiant's doing here, I might have to go pick up Ninjak. Anyway, guys, that's it for me, Jason X. I will see you next week. And if you happen to see a Leader Class Ultra Magnus in Walmart or anything, you know, hook a brother up. Give me a comment down there. Catch you later.